Blessed morning, church. Blessed morning. Blessed morning. Let's all raise to worship the Lord this morning. How many of you are ready to praise Him this morning? Hallelujah. Let me begin with this verse, Luke 1, 37. Luke 1, 37, which says, For with God, nothing will be impossible. Can we read that together? For with God, nothing will be impossible. Hallelujah. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship a God this morning who is a God of possibilities. How many of you can testify that? He is a God of possibilities. Possibilities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just take a moment and just say praise you, Jesus. We praise you for who you are we praise you we praise you we praise you jesus we praise you jesus we exalt you we magnify you this morning hallelujah thank you for the breath that you have given us so that we can exalt you we can magnify you we can praise you hallelujah hallelujah god for you with you nothing is impossible you're a god of possibilities you're a god of possibilities beyond our imagination beyond our experience expectation oh hallelujah father we exalt you we exalt you oh hallelujah marvelous are your works how many of you can say that his works are marvelous hallelujah 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 let's just sing this song thank you jesus Say, my lover, they were 
that the word of God is the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate word. Raise up, raise up. Let's just praise Jesus this morning. Praise Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Lift your voices, church. Lift your voices at this time. Let's just praise Jesus. Hallelujah. For his word is ultimate. His word is ultimate. His word is the full stop. There is no exclamation. There is no comma. There is a full stop. God, his word is the ultimate. Hallelujah. It's the final say in your life. It's the final say in your life. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For nothing is impossible with you. For nothing is impossible with you. Hallelujah. 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 Let's just sing this song. Nothing is impossible with Jesus. It's you who gives me strength. Nothing is impossible through you. Blind eyes are open. Strongholds are broken. I am living by faith. Nothing is impossible. Let's speak that in faith. I'm not gonna live. I'm not gonna live by what I see. Yes. I'm not gonna live by what I feel. Cause deep down I know that you're here with me. I know that you can do it. do anything I can do all things cause it's you who gives me strength nothing is impossible through you blind eyes are open strongholds are broken I am living by faith nothing is impossible you 
nothing but you nothing but you nothing but you nothing but you hallelujah i believe i believe i believe i believe in you i believe i believe i believe i believe in you i believe i believe i believe i believe in you i believe i believe i believe i believe in you for small things for big things i believe in you for all things 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 hallelujah 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 nothing else matters nothing else matters nothing else matters hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. What an amazing God, what an amazing God. What an awesome God, what an awesome God. What an awesome God, what an awesome God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship your awesomeness. We worship your awesomeness. We worship your awesomeness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are so awe of your presence, O Lord, this morning. We are in awe of your presence, O Lord, this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just sing this song, which is called The God of Miracles. Because he is the God of miracles. How many of you believe that? That he is the God of miracles. He is. Hallelujah. He is. That is who he is. That is who he is. That is who he is. Come on, come on, church. Lift up your voices. Let's just worship him at this time. I believe. 
sing it. The God who was and is to come, that is who he is. The power of the risen one. The God who brings the dead to life. You're the God of miracles. You're the God. Jesus is a God of miracles, is a God of miracles. Oh, hallelujah. Expect from him this morning. Expect from him this morning. The God who made the sun stand still, the God who parted the Red Sea, the God who defies the laws of nature. We are in his presence. We are in his presence. That is who he is. That is who he is. He has not stopped. It's never ending. It's endless. It's endless. The God of supernatural. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just whisper this. I believe in you. I believe in you. You're the God of miracles. I believe in you. I believe in you. You're the God of miracles. Thank you, Jesus. Acknowledge your presence, Jesus. We acknowledge your presence. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Even as we are in this attitude of prayer, attitude, can I just request you all to just close your eyes? Continue worship him and allow the Holy Spirit to speak into your hearts you know even as we were singing this song I believe in you the God of miracles hallelujah you know you said one of the most powerful word how many of you are fathers here and when your child comes running to you and says Daddy, I believe in you. 
Mothers, when your children come and say, I believe in you. Husbands, when your wife says, I believe in you. And wives, when your husband say, I believe in you. It can do miracles. Proverbs 3, 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on your own understanding. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Jehoshaphat would have to raise up and shout aloud and say, Trust in the Lord and you will be established. Hallelujah. Can we just look upon him and say, Lord, I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. You don't have to believe in yourself. You don't have to keep your belief in your situations. You don't have to keep belief in anything that people have promised to you. Would you just turn to your father and say, I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. Hallelujah. You know, it's a great opportunity for us to look upon our dad this morning and say, Dad, I trust. I trust. I trust in you, Lord. I trust in you, O oh Father God. Lord, I believe in you for everything, O oh Lord. Every walk of my life, every day that I live, every minute that I live, Lord, I put my trust in you. Lord, I put my trust in you. Hallelujah. Lord, I put my trust in you for my patience, for my providence, for my health. Lord, for making me whole. Hallelujah. And if there is any confidence that I can boast of, it is the confidence in my Lord. Hallelujah. It's not my doing. It's not your doing. Children of God, can we just look upon the Lord and say, Lord, Daddy God, I put my trust in you. The good work that you started in me. Lord, I don't put my trust in myself, but I put my trust in you, O oh Lord, that you would bring it into completion. Hallelujah. Lord, I will put my trust in you in every situation. Lord, I will put my trust in you in every part of my life. I will put my trust in you. Lord, when people mock at me, I will put my trust in you. Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, when I'm confused, when I don't know what to do, when challenges are just staring at my face, I will put my trust in you. I believe in you, Lord. I believe in you, Lord. Can you shout aloud and say, Lord, I trust in you. Hallelujah. Sondha jnana milla andavar hai. Sondha bela nilla andavar hai. Lord, I trust in your wisdom. Daddy, I trust in your strength. Lord, I trust in your power that flows through me. Lord, I trust in the work of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I put my trust in you, O Lord. I put my trust in you, O Lord. And if it is for you, just hear it. You may be fearful today standing here. But God says, Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is moving forward. Even when fear, fear tries to grip us. Just move forward. Hallelujah. Just move forward for you do not have the spirit of fear, but you have the spirit of power. You have the spirit of love and you have the spirit of sound mind. Hallelujah. Every chains that is holding the people of God, let it be broken in the name of Jesus today. You are whole. You are healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have to be fearful. It is God who has sustained you thus far and he will sustain you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We believe in you, Lord. For you are the God of miracles. Can we just give a shout aloud to God? Amen. Can we shout aloud? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Eyes open. 
can we give a loud clap offering to god hallelujah amen god of miracles ki ivlo dhan clap panuvingla can we give a clap thank you brother hallelujah go to three people and say i believe in my god i believe in him amen let's prepare our hearts for communion Jesus hallelujah If you don't have the elements in your hand please lift up your hands the ushers will help you and pass the cup Thank you Holy Ghost It's good to be in the house of God amen hallelujah Yes yes hallelujah Jesus First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 onwards let's read Those of you who will be watching online you can prepare your cups at home and also the bread at your home and let's partake in the holy communion amen and this is the table of grace It's a wonderful privilege that God has given to partake in his body and his blood. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Chapter 11 verse 23 says, "For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, "Take it, this is my body." which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me in the same manner he also took the cup after supper saying this cup is a new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the lord's death till he comes hallelujah therefore whoever eats this bread or drink this cup of the lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and the blood of the lord but let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup amen hallelujah verse 31 says for if we would judge ourselves we would not be judged amen hallelujah do you know a wonderful secret that the whether people in any any faith any kind of faith you know even the primitive the most primitive faith even the tribals have the have the practice of sacrificing animals you know why it is to appease the gods the bible says no sacrifice no blood could ever wash away the sin of man it is the blood of jesus which wash away the sins of the man hallelujah hallelujah that's why because he was without any blemish yeah he died once for all he shed his blood once for all to forgive all our sins nammal ella paavangalaiyum neekum padike nammale parisuddham aakum padike baliyana ore kirubadara bali hallelujah avar mele nambike veikkumbodhu he gives an eternal life amen hallelujah this morning the bible says if we judge ourselves we would not be judged amen hallelujah hallelujah it's a very powerful element i mean powerful a symbolism of believing in jesus that he died for my sin my sickness my disease my my all my iniquities my lack that he died on the cross so that i can be restored that i can be brought back to the original point of creation hallelujah 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 that i can walk with god that i can talk with god without any hindrance because the blood gives the access to the presence of god 
தேவனுடைய சமூகத்திற்கு நம்மை தடையின்றி கொண்டு வருகிற ஒரே ஒரு காரியம் இந்த ரத்தமா இருக்கிறது ஆமே ஹலோ லூயா so let's pray father i thank you we all thank you as we hold this elements in our hand we make it your body and your blood even as we partake in this when we do this lord we know that you died for our sickness our iniquities our disease our grief our sorrows our pain our lack you bore upon yourself all these things and you gave us restoration healing health and father god goodness joy peace and lord abundance in every good work lord we acknowledge this through your body so that we don't have to go through those things which you already went through on our behalf that we can stand victoriously and declare these are my portion hallelujah we praise you we thank you for this great sacrifice which enables us to enjoy this goodness of yours at the same time we look upon the cross a moment lord if there is anything that we are living in our life which is contrary to your word which is not pleasing to you we ask you to help us lord even as we partake in this wonderful body and the blood of jesus it is so powerful to redeem us to set us free from every bondage and addiction we praise you in jesus mighty name let's partake in the body of jesus christ together lord thank you for the blood the blood that no other animal no other man could sacrifice and shed for the forgiveness of all the people in the world you did it for the mankind this blood is forgives all our sins forgives all our sins the sins of the whole world is washed away through the blood of jesus lord we trust in it and lord this through this blood you not only give us forgiveness but also divine protection and god gives you give us an access to all the blessings that you have for us our we are protected our household is protected all things that belong to us are sanctified and protected lord thank you holy spirit through this blood we are sanctified hallelujah we are sanctified everybody say i am sanctified through the blood of jesus because every article that was sprinkled the blood of the lamb was sanctified hallelujah that means that was separated for the holiness for the things of god so therefore lord give me the strength give me the grace even as i say partake in it help me to live by it not to go back to the old things but lord to live victoriously in the in the power and through the power of the blood of jesus amen hallelujah let's partake in the blood of jesus christ together hallelujah 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 thank you jesus we praise you lord thank you lord can we praise the lord in giving a clap offering to the lord amen hallelujah for the blood and the and the body of jesus christ what an amazing sacrifice that is given amen hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah let's now uh, worship the lord in our giving please uh, leave the cups down or pass it to the ushers and it's a time to worship the lord in giving in giving thank you holy spirit luke chapter 6 verse 38 luke chapter 6 verse 38 the bible says give and it will be given to you good measure pressed down shaken together and running over will be put into your bosom for with the same measure that you use it will also be measured back to you hallelujah hallelujah the bible admonishes and jesus says give and it will be given to you good measure pressed down and shaken together amen i'm reading this this one has lot of uh, context but uh, here 
I just want to tell you when you give to the Lord God is so powerful and he is almighty God he wants to give to us amen he wants to give to us for that he wants to uh, see whether we can give amen hallelujah yeah we give unto the Lord when you give unto the Lord it says the word of God says he will give you in good measure pressed down shaken together wow that's running over hallelujah everybody say abundance that's why Paul writes in the in the book of Corinthians abundance for every good work amen abundance more than what you need for everything that God has called so today I always say don't give it casually don't give it uh, uh, naturally with the natural perspective give with an understanding you are giving because God first gave amen and I give cheerfully hallelujah I give not because of necessity but because God loves a cheerful giver amen hallelujah hallelujah yeah so take your tithes and offering in your hand and let's pray father we pray in the name of Jesus these are what you have given to us Lord we are being good stewards by giving to you what you have uh, asked us to give and therefore we pray that you will sanctify it you will bless it and separate it for the good work and Lord we know that everything that is in your hand you will bless it and multiply it Lord and we pray that your children who are giving they will have uh, resources multiplied and uh, and every supply for every need that they have in life every bills be paid and we pray that our children will not lack anything Lord as psalmist said father God I don't see a righteous man begging for food hallelujah but Lord they are always righteous and they are good and they will be uh, lifted high above everybody hallelujah around them Lord I pray that the victory will come even in the financial realm for every children of yours and we pray that these uh, these offerings will be used according to your plan and purpose for the furtherance and the expansion of your kingdom we praise you we give you glory in Jesus mighty name we pray and the people of God said amen and amen can we give the Lord a big hand hallelujah thank you Jesus so now we are going to uh, give as the musician plays the music yeah uh, you see the QR code and you give it that way or you can give it physically here through the bag that is passed by after that please be seated we'll hear the testimonies and announcements God bless you Blessed morning, church. Blessed morning. Amen. We welcome you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is in the room. Amen. Do you believe him? Amen. The Redeemer, the, the Savior is here with us in the room. And this morning, I have a few announcements to give you. Um, our Sunday service, every Sunday, it's happening at 8.30 a.m. at Mount Olives. And uh, the Kingdom Kids has resumed and it's taking place every Sunday at 8.30 at the function room. And uh, for this week, the exciting thing is our camp. So please be informed that our camp is taking place on Jan 21st to 24th. And I hope you are all preparing physically and spiritually. And be expectant. Expect for the Lord to outpour His Spirit upon us. Amen. And we also wanted to inform you that on Jan 21st, we would like you to be there at 6 a.m. The ferry will start at 8, 10 a.m. due to Chinese New Year and things. We want you to be early as possible, which is at 6 a.m. at Tanamera. Can we say the timing? 6 a.m. at Tanamera. Amen. So uh, we have a WhatsApp group for all the campers. So please look forward it and we will send you the details and things that you need to prepare for the camp. Amen. And uh, I think that's all for the announcements. Um, okay. I would like to call 
for the testimony. Is there, is there anybody who would like to share the testimony this morning? Let's all put our hands and welcome Hannah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, praise the Lord. I, uh, I wanted to share a testimony regarding my um, daughter. When we were going to India, um, because we were traveling a lot, um, we were not able to change her diapers as often, and uh, she wasn't drinking enough water. There were a lot of things that was out of our control. Um, however, through the process, she actually had very bad diaper rash, and um, her appetite dropped. She had diarrhea. Um, it was a very trying time for me because I saw her suffer a lot. Um, however, you know, as I prayed, uh, and I prayed, there were times when it got better, and then it got worse, and it got better, and it got worse, and it kept going back and forth. And there, there came a point that I was so desperate. And I remembered when my um, husband reminded me, oh, um, God reminded me about pudding. I remembered I shared the testimony about the hamster who got healed. And he said, with that understanding, you pray that God would heal um, baby. So with that desperation, I had remembered that I prayed for, for the hamster's healing. Imagine that. And God did heal the hamster. <laughs> I prayed for my daughter that he would heal. Yet again, it was still so trying because I could not see any difference at that point of time. And in my desperation, I believe God... Um, gave me an opportunity to speak to my mom when I was at the most um, lowest of my time and she, she told me about this clinic and um, at that point of time I felt to be honest I felt like I was a hypocrite I felt I was thinking but I'm praying I'm believing that God's gonna heal but yet there is this option that is given to me but I understood it come a point of time where God gave doctors as well it is not that he only heals just because of, you know, one way. He does more than one way. And so when, when we went to the clinic and we went to see a doctor and they gave the, the, the medication and whatnot, they said that, oh, you know, um, we have no idea how, how long baby is going to be healed. We don't know how long is the medication going to take effect and how fast is she going to get better from the diarrhea and how fast is the rash going to get better. And... But I didn't believe whatever they said because I believe that God is the God of acceleration. I believe that God can heal faster than what men can say. So I claimed that. And yes, I put the, the medication. I did whatever. But I said, God, I, I believe that you would heal faster than what men would say. And true enough, her healing accelerated. And now her rest is almost done, almost gone. Yeah, so I really want to thank God for this time because it was really hard for me. And um, I thank God that he built up my faith and strengthened me in that place where I really learned to depend on him, even though I cannot see it yet. So I praise God and I thank God for the people who God have put in my, in my life to also encourage me towards that place. Praise God. Thank God. Is there any more testimonies? Amen. Praise God for the wonderful testimony. We glorify the Lord here. Amen. Amen. Let's all put our hands and welcome our dear pastor for the word. Amen. Amen. Thank Praise you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning to all of you. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Yeah. We can say good morning many times also. Amen. Praise God. Welcome all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, is there anybody new here today? Yeah. The first timers, the second timers, the third timers. Welcome in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We have a, a wonderful dad and mom of uh, Mepha. Yeah? yeah. Let's welcome them in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Praise God. Thanks. Hope you will have a good stay here. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Be seated. If you remember, last year we were praying for uh, Mepha's dad, 
when he was going through a lot of uh, health issues amen and god had healed him that he is now hale and healthy to travel and be with the daughter and and the son in law amen praise god praise god hallelujah give glory to the lord praise jesus yeah so uh, keep those thing in mind uh, whatever that announcement has been made uh, but i think more uh, more details will be sent to the campers uh, that you have to be on time because we are going to another country remember that uh, vaccination status or the the weights that you need to carry all those campers lift up your hand yeah those of you who are unable to come we will miss you okay we will miss you uh, but uh, pray for the people who are going and uh, we will pray from there for you amen yeah we will pray from there you come to tana mera in, in uh, i mean the terminal don't go to the usual harbor front and then we cannot redeem you all right <laughs> this is a different venue because this is a ferry to bintan okay and we have to be early because our our ferries are earlier time so we will have a wonderful stay there to receive the word of god amen and we are going to receive the wonderful uh, word of god for this season in your life and i believe for breakthroughs i believe for the expansion that the lord would bring in your own uh, personal life amen praise god hallelujah thank you jesus so let's bow down our heads and pray father we pray in the name of jesus christ uh, that lord you will uh, enable us to hear what you have to speak and god today as you have brought us to this wonderful sunday which we want to honor you with the vision that you have given to the church to this body of christ and lord as we go through the things that uh, you have laid in the hearts of mine and i pray that god you will bless it you will make it as a manna to each and every one of us who are here lord and lord we pray that you are the one who deliver us you are the one who heals us you are the one who uh, saves us you are the one who provides us you are almighty god you are el shaddai in our life and you have given us promises and we pray that these promises come to pass in its time lord and we thank you that god you will do signs wonders and miracles even as we receive the word in faith and place our trust in faith and trust and faith in you that god there will be miracles in our own lives i pray for unction in the holy ghost even as we break the word this morning i pray that everyone who is sick will receive a healing lord we pray that anyone who is uh, confused anyone who is Uh, condemned they will be set free lord amen hallelujah we pray in the name of jesus and the people of god said amen and amen praise god hallelujah hallelujah thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit praise god today as we were worshiping the lord you know the lord uh, said something very sweetly i i i just want to tell you that and uh, maybe another time i will teach on that but uh, you know uh, he just reminded and he just said one thing the holiness in the new testament is a is a profit that we receive from the lord when we place our faith and trust in jesus holiness comes as a by product in the old covenant it is not the old testament you have to hold on to the Ten commandments that was given at Mount Sinai, and try to work towards that. Now, Jesus has come and made and paid all the penalty that was due based on the Ten Commandments. Now, you are to receive that promise through Jesus Christ and live a holy life. Look at your neighbor and say, "You are sanctified. You are a sanctified believer. You are a sanctified person." Amen. Hallelujah. so walk in it walk in worthy of it look at your neighbor again and say walk in worthy of it walk in worthy of it apana namba parisutha maakapattavargala irukkanal adu pole nadandu kollungal amen hallelujah namma solluvom la padichavan maari nadandukringala everybody there is a difference between a learned person behavior and an unlearned 
they will speak anyhow they will talk anyhow they will behave anyhow unmannerly and i will say you are a student you well read right you you taught then behave like that so that is what the, that's what the holy spirit is admonishing us this morning so we were once upon a time like that wayward walking anyhow anyways but now god has sanctified us hallelujah he has redeemed us everybody say i am redeemed he redeemed then i have to live by it wow adu pole nadandu kollungal hallelujah hallelujah so that means there is no malice and this deceit in me and i am going to live victoriously hallelujah amen, amen. i am, i am a blessed person hallelujah so let's let's uh, uh, look into the scripture today this morning as we continue to uh, study on this uh, promise that god has given us for this year uh, sing barren woman sing barren woman you who never bore a child isaiah 54 verse 1 let's read that oh i today i have not sent you the scriptures but anyway it is you can take it up amen so sing barren woman you who never bore a child burst into songs shout for joy you who were never in labor because more are the children of the desolate woman than of her who has a husband says the lord so new king james version says enlarge the place everybody say enlarge the place of your tent and and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwelling read with me yeah do not spare lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes for you shall expand to the right and to the left and your descendants will inherit the nation and make the desolate cities inhabited hallelujah hallelujah that's a promise that god gives and he says uh, enlarge the place of your tent enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out their curtains and do not spare lengthen your cords and strengthen your sticks andavar ad thirumba thirumba ma namal solrar amen hallelujah that means uh, isaiah uh, 54 in, in the uh, same same passage in uh, in the message translation if you read i'm not going to read the whole thing but that one portion says spread out and think big everybody say think big think big andavar solla stretch out your curtains do not spare enlarge your tents abdinum bodu he says think big think like god hallelujah amen. think how god has a plan for you in your life amen think like god no don't uh, don't feel oh wow, how can i think like god you know god is inside of you amen that means you have to have a relationship with him then he will give his thoughts to you amen yeah that's what it means so uh, don't think uh, th- it is not a arrogant statement it is a statement of the word of god amen hallelujah praise the lord so therefore think big think big then you can achieve what god has in store for your life and uh, new living translation says spare no expense the the same words in new living translation uses a word spare no expense everybody say spare no expense Oh, these are the words that God spoke to me concerning this promise this year that we don't hold anything from the Lord anything for the Lord amen hallelujah so this is what we are going to uh, talk today amen hallelujah so uh, last week I was talking to you about uh, the how to have this promise uh, be experienced in our life and uh, God said we have to begin by praising remember that your song is your seed your song is your seed when you sing like the barren woman was asked to sing when she did not even have a child yet she has not even born a child yet you know kolandai perada and the maladiye paathu nee paadu abdin solra sing oh barren woman so therefore that was a, a message that was given to her in the beginning and then god goes on to say why you have to sing because you have hope hallelujah because you are going to expand you are going to enlarge get ready for that hallelujah get ready for the enlargement that is coming hallelujah get ready for the expansion that is coming get ready for the things that god is going to do in your life amen appo adarkai namba thayar seyum alavirku namba thudithu konde irukanum amen hallelujah so sing before you see your song is the seed for the vision god has given you amen so then i also told you to experience this uh, Uh, this promise that god has given to us we need to expand our perspective remember that 
expand our perspective on the very first day i said don't think and with your, with our own small mind think along with god amen think along with god think as god thinks that means god says you know uh, when uh, he he called abraham out and he called him out of the of the tent and he said you look at the stars of the sky you look at the sands of the seashore adu pole ungala enna seivan peridakkuven appdin sonnar amen hallelujah so that was the promise given to him so therefore when god gives that vision we take it in in faith and we start to believe in it and we will uh, do the what the lord has uh, told us so therefore uh, the lord is again emphasizing on one thing look at your neighbor and say come out of your tent come out of your tent that means come out of your mindset come out of your perspective come out of your perspective of confinement come out of your mindset of narrowness come out of your mindset of inability i can't do this i can't do that come out of your mindset of a fear of failure come out of your mindset of a lack come out of them then you will see the bigger picture that god has hallelujah so we need to come out of the mindsets that uh, that we have for ourselves yeah and the andor ungala paathu sollara enna sonnaru un ninaivugal en ninaivugal illa my thoughts are not your thoughts my ways are way higher than your ways hallelujah hallelujah appo we have to travel with god in this journey with god amen hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord so to see the enlargement coming in your life we need to first uh, change our mindset come out of the tent that we have so that means today's title that i have for this vision sunday is live beyond your life everybody say live beyond your life right live beyond your life god is calling us to uh, live a life which is beyond our, us beyond our abilities and our uh, capacities uh, because god is going to do something uh, in us and through us amen hallelujah so in this culture in this culture so uh, i believe it will be a uh, encouraging message but it is going to also be a very challenging message look at your neighbor and say a challenging message a challenge i i want to challenge you on the very uh, first uh, month itself and to see what god has for you amen praise god because uh, you are not ordinary look at your neighbor and say you are not ordinary you are not called for ordinary purpose you know you are called for extraordinary purpose in the lord you are all special you are all unique in god's eyes and god has a reason why you are here uh, don't live a life very like anybody casually edho vandho konja sambarichom apra veetla oru veeda kattano apra oru rendu car vaangano adukapra apdi retire aayi poite naanga apra ellarodeyum sandoshama andha oru gramathile gramathile la oru oru oduku purama oru veeda vaangite oru retirement life hello we are not called for that i know some of you have already invested like that we caught you huh god did not only bring you here for that i mean you live well but all those things are the not the satisfying thing you know i tell you enna da andha vaisana nerathula poi neenga kaal mela kaala potu edhume illama apdi vaanatha paathu kaala aatnenga na kuda i don't think you will have that satisfaction what you will have when you do the purpose of god the will of god yeah even if you have been persecuted even if you you've been uh, going through some tough times i tell you it brings a great joy yeah. work towards that so that's what i'm going to talk to you this morning so when god says because in this culture in this culture uh, in the world that we live in the concept the idea of individualism individualism or individual uh, is grown so much the concept of individualism no me myself my things i've been solely that has become uh more and more so everywhere it is taught you know uh it is nothing wrong but i will come to the point you have no it has been said that you have a great potential ipo na sonna mari you are you are not special you are not ordinary you are extraordinary idella na ungalku sonna illa encourage nothing wrong that is what you are but what are we channeling them to what are we channeling them to that's what i am arriving at so you you said you are a great potential you know you follow your dreams you will you will succeed pursue your ambition and and if you do uh, uh, steadfastly whatever that is in your heart you will achieve it abidana yeah yeah that is the culture that we are living in and this is 
unfortunately seeped in the church also it has come into the churches also uh, some of the churches if you go that's only a lot of motivation to do that but I want to bring it to you a, a different perspective there there are a wonderful benefits that comes out of such perspective there are wonderful benefits because people are always thinking low of themselves the Bible says you don't have to think like that so we need to lift them up we need to uh, tell them who they are in Christ amen yes you are having a person uh, you are a person of great potential yeah as an individual you have a uh, you uh, you have the image of God imprinted on you amen you can do greater things for God that is true hallelujah but what happens is and the greater uh, the greater the idea of uh, you know you in God is great on the other side there is there is a darkness to that side also there is a there is a flip side to that uh, thing that we become so self-consumed we become so uh, uh, me minded are you there that's why I told you it's a challenging message that idea is great the idea is powerful knowing that as an individual I am created and I am loved and by God and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me as as great as it is the dark side to it is what is the dark side if you ask me the more that I am consumed with my own ambition my passion the more I become unaware of my neighbors the more that I become unaware of the people around me the more that I become unaware of the needs of the people around me there are people who does not have what you have the hope that you have the people don't have the joy that you have the people don't have the eternal life that you have the people don't have they don't know to rejoice like as you're doing but if you're so caught up in the in the in the realm of individualism and I, me 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 then we are lost we lost you know long back I read a, uh, read an article read an article a story was written there about uh, how uh, pathetically one incident you know took place in the life of uh, a man who was desperately re going to a destination what happened was this man uh, uh, in the train traveling from one point to another point he dropped his uh, cell phone down by the way cell phone uh, for church local and the cell phone especially when the sermon is the given I believe none of you will do that you take down notes take down notes is good but you know it's so because you are, you are so tempted when you are doing notes taking you are so tempted to see other things you know or notification or 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 message or 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 YouTube or what is this control yourself in the presence of God God is watching you know yes God is watching you that's why live worthy of what you're called for hey this time is for God can I not give undivided attention for an hour for the Lord yeah sure the rest of the time you go and flip 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 whatever you want to flip I will not encourage you wrongly also <laughs> I will not encourage you wrongly also do what is needed for you amen praise God that's how live uh, beautifully rejoicing you have time okay praise God okay let us come back to the story the man who was bringing the probably he was doing like that you know so engrossed in the phone he dropped the phone in the uh, in a platform okay in the railway station platform when it was going and it fell in between two uh, railway tracks or whatever it is so this fellow lost his phone down and he was so in desperation and what happened is he immediately he needed the phone right any of you do this I think but you think before doing that so he went and pulled the the chain okay to stop the chain and he stopped it do you know the consequence of stopping a chain like that I mean stopping a train like that so he pulled the train not bothered about uh, uh, what will happen and he got his phone okay some smashed or whatever it is he re recovered his phone but the people who were traveling in the train so many of them they were going for job interviews going for emergency appointments and one one lady almost uh, lost the daughter 
it's a very pathetic story, story. I, I'm not going to go into the detail of it, but this is what the individual think about me. I'm not even aware what I'm doing. What I'm doing can impact others. Not being mindful of even thinking that, you know, this, uh, this, if, I, if I stop this train like that, would it affect people? They, they, there are people who lost their job because they could not go to the interview. They could not go and get their connecting train or connecting flight or whatever it is. They are uh, stranded somewhere. Imagine if that you are caught up in such a desperate situation. I, I want to tell you that is the kind of a, a thing, a negative side or a dark side that brings to a person who is so self-consumed. Everybody say, I am not like that. I am not like that. Look at your neighbor and say, you are not like that. You don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Yeah? So we are not so much caught. So can you, this can lead to selfishness. So this kind of a, a dark side is basically, it will lead to selfishness. And the tragedy is we are lost to want to, uh, I mean, we are the, we are, we are, we are lost we are the last one to recognize that uh, we are selfish when we are moved into that selfishness like that. Slowly, the individualism or the, uh, you know, the factor that you are so consumed of yourself, you don't recognize that. You become unaware of things around you and you get into the mode of selfishness. And when you get into that selfishness, you will not even recognize that you are selfish. Everything will become legitimate for you. Yeah? Everything becomes legitimate for you. Because selfishness can bind us. Sorry, blind us, not bind us. Blind us. It can blind us totally. Wow. Today the Lord says, is, enlarge your tent. Enlarge your tent. Look at your neighbor and say, enlarge your tent. That means have a different perspective. Have a different perspective. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, we all know this. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 5, let's, let's look that. It does not dishonor others. What? The love. Okay, love. It talks about love. I'm reading from New International Version. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. That means selfish, self-centered. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. We all know love is patient, love is kind, love is... Good, it does not keep record of wrong things, but it also says it does not dishonor others. It does not, uh, it is not self-seeking. Everybody say self-seeking. Apana so self-centered ana or life of all rathukku namba alika padala. Amplified version says, it is not concealed, sorry, it is not conceited. That means arrogant and inflated with pride. It is not rude. Can you see that? It is not rude. That means it is not unmannerly and does not act unbecomingly. Love, that is God's love in us, does not insist on its own rights or its own ways. Wow. Sometimes we may have to give away our rights, you know, as a, as a believer. As a believer, you may have to give away your rights. You, may, you, may, you cannot uh, uh, insist on my right. Oh, this is what... This is what Abdin Soli, we cannot insist on our rights. Sometimes the best thing is giving away the rights. Yeah, that's what Jesus did. On the cross, he gave away the things that belong to him. He gave away his life. He gave away his life. He sacrificed the right to be the child of God, like, like God on earth. He became one like you and me, as human as we are. In that he showed how it is possible. Amen? Amen? Look at your neighbor and say, you're called special. Hey, that is how special we are. That means nothing of this world can, can, can put me in a prison in a box and say, this is how you are to live. Amen? Wow. Praise God. That means it says it does not insist on its own rights or sometimes it may have, you may have to give away your rights for it is not self-seeking, it is not touchy or fretful or resentful. It takes no account of evil done to it. It pays no attention to a suffered wrong. 
Wow, I like that. Everybody say, it pays no attention to a suffered wrong. That means, one wrong suffer pandrathu vandhu attention hai pandrathu. Is it love? Hallelujah! If your, if your husband or a wife is mistreating you for some reason, you know, that you are praying too much or whatever it is, it doesn't bother. Hallelujah! I'm telling to the people in the, in the, in the people who are watching, okay, outsiders. But some, sometimes even the Christian people can do that, you know. Hey, Baba, that's a Look at him and say, please don't say it like that. You encourage them to pray. Huh? You encourage them to uh, read the word of God. Yeah. But here, it, even if you are suffered wrong, he doesn't pay attention to that. Wow, I like that. I like that. So it pays no attention to a suffered wrong. I'm just giving you one example, but there are many, many examples. It doesn't take any account. Wow. You have been misunderstood. It's okay. He doesn't even pay attention to. There are people who are stepping on your toes and casually treat you badly. He doesn't pay any attention to. Amen. Silently sometimes we suffer, right? We cannot even say to others. But I tell you, God says that is love. That's true love. That's true love. You've been stamped on, you've been mistreated, you've been badly treated, you've been run down. You've been, the people say wrong things about you, assume things about you. It's okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord says, he doesn't even pay attention to that. That is the kind of a love that God wants us to come to in this year. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So this attitude, the attitude of individualism or self, self-seekingness or selfishness, this is dangerous. Okay. If it is not channeled correctly, as I told you, it has tendency to approach God and ask God, what is my purpose in my life? Instead of asking God, uh, you know, I mean, uh, instead of going to God and asking for a purpose and asking God to, uh, you know, reveal things to us, it will go and say, like, Lord, I have already made plans. Please approve this. Please bless this. Oh, that is not the kind. This is how uh, people are taking the things. That's why I tell when you are, when you are even having faith, you need to base it on the word of God. Amen. Everybody say faith on the word of God. Faith is not arbitrary as whatever you are thinking is. Faith is based on the word of God. Hallelujah. That is what we are teaching. Okay. That's what we are teaching. We are teaching that you need to find your scripture, your word for, from the word of God for your life. And then you place your faith on God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So therefore, instead of asking God for his plan, uh, instead of God asking uh, God for his plan, you say, God bless my plan. Fix it and be with me. That's not what, that's not a uh, right thing. But individualism the, uh, can bring us to that. That means we will be, we'll be using God as only ATM. Yeah, like an ATM machine, go and only, you know, I need this, I need this, I need this. No, no, no. If you want to uh, see and appropriate this promise that is beautifully given to us, God wants us to go to a different level. Yeah, yeah. In fact, we can also be succeeded and our passions and ambitions will be fulfilled. You may see success also. But truly, it will not be satisfying. That's what I, I told you. It will not be truly satisfying. It does not fill your heart because you are created in the life of God. Hallelujah. The day that you are born again, then you are called and you are called to live a life beyond yourself. Beyond yourself. That is, why, that is where the satisfaction comes. Yeah, you may, you may stretch out beyond uh, certain points, but still it is not painful for you. Amen. You enjoy that. You rejoice in that and you are so happy that I, I, I stretched out but somebody is blessed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody is blessed. I, I did all these things. I went through all these things but somebody else were blessed through the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Through me. Oh, that is the, that is the real satisfaction. So, you are created to live your purpose that transcends your ambitions and you are created to participate in the work of God on this earth. Hallelujah. If that's what, look at your neighbor and say, you are created to participate in the work of God on this earth. Yeah. 
தேவன் உங்களுக்காக இந்த உலகத்தில் வைத்திருக்க ஒரு முக்கியமான திட்டத்துக்குள்ளே நீங்கள் இணைந்து வர வேண்டும் ஐ மீன் ஹல்லு ஸோ யூஆர் கால்டு ஃபார் அ கிரேட்னஸ் இன் த லார்ட் யூஆர் கால்டு நாட் டு ஃபிட் இன் டு த ஆர்டினரி யூ ஆர் யூ வில் நாட் பி சாட்டிஸ்ஃபைட் தட் வே பிகாஸ் த ஹங்கர் தட் காட் ஹஸ் புட் இன் யோர் ஹார்ட் வில் நாட் அலோவ் யூ டு செட்டில் லைக் தட் வாட் வில் ஓன்லி செட்டில் யூ இஸ் லைக் பை யூ புட்டிங் இட் ஆஃப் இஃப் யூ ஆர் பர்பஸ்லி அண்ட் வில்லிங்லி ட்ரைங் டு யூ நோ டேம்பன் இட் தென் இட் வில் ஹேப்பன் but i tell you god is in this last days in this end times god is looking for people who will raise up to his plan hallelujah kalangal uyirthi aandu kitta solluva hallelujah lord we want to be that person hallelujah because god is looking for that one person who will stand in the gap who will see i will tell you why i am telling all these things because the first number one he says is stretch out and lengthen your cords number one stretch out and lengthen your cords how 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 are we going to do that it it takes that it takes that love of god it takes the 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 attitude of god it takes that sacrificial nature of god in order to do that i think some of you the the ministry team i was talking to you yesterday the stretch out is really really uh, really uh, you know strengthening your cords i mean lengthening your cords and stretching out beyond yourself you may have to uh, sometimes legitimately let go of the things that you you most enjoy but for the goodness of someone else amen, amen. hallelujah you will see somebody walk into the kingdom you will see someone ushering into the kingdom of god because of that sacrifice i tell you unless that's why bible says you know sometimes it is not like sacrifice means already everybody go into mission field everybody uh, uh, you know don't uh, put nalla chatte and the mari la illa right you no know, suffer for god not like that in that sense but sometimes you are uh, you are letting go of your day to day ambitions day to day enjoyment that is what inga irukku ungalku adha na ungalku ketirupanga you don't think too much about first you do this then then try to talk about going to mission field and doing all the uh, other things that uh, that is uh, need a lot of things but today here can i let go of my own uh, the enjoyments sometimes which will benefit for others it may you may spend a little bit more time with a non believer amen it will stretch out when you when you when you have to spend time to pray before you go and meet hallelujah yeah it may stretch for you to come and attend a prayer meeting like that to to for the salvation of the people yeah oh god is waiting and uh, wanting to see because it is stretching out in the scripture you see here we uh, there is a beautiful picture that god is giving us what we saw that a barren woman singing uh, asked to sing and then enlargement of the tent right then comes the enlargement of the tent then expanding and expanding abroad look at the next verse that the bible uh, the word of god here says let let's go to isaiah 50 54 verse 3 verse 2 says finally lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes for you shall expand everybody say you shall expand you shall expand to the right and to the left and your descendants will inherit the nations wow it doesn't stop there it doesn't stop there with the thing that enlarge your tent lengthen your cords it goes on to say even more strongly that you will expand everybody say you will expand because god says you shall expand ninga peruga poringa adanal enna seyinga ipolude thayaravunga amen hallelujah you know blessed uh, yesterday was very blessed meeting and uh, our brother jones maybe we will send it to you long back the a prophecy that came and uh, how god right rightly revealed that yesterday to rejoice amen hallelujah i was wa- watching it later it was very powerful amen and it was a powerful sermon you also go and listen amen praise god that was spoken over individuals and also uh, to the church amen praise god so therefore we get ready apo the enlargement and the expand uh, expanding is coming and you will increase to the right and to the left that's what the lord says increase to the right and to the left because you see acts chapter 2 go to acts chapter 2 verse 44 to 46 and there the bible says now all who believed were together and all had things in common they sold their possessions and goods divided them among all as one had need okay and then sorry as any one had need so continually daily with one accord in the temple everybody say one accord in the temple i i think as uh, if you are talking about this expansion and we are talking about this vision that god has given for this year and the plan for this year we need to stay together look at your neighbor and say stay together stay together in prayer stay together with oneness 
there need to be a unity because they were all in one accord in the temple because today we don't have a temple right you are the temple of the holy spirit amen we all come together and make a bigger temple amen yeah so when that is the case we all stay together one oneness 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 everybody say oneness ellar or olmai party navi oda irukano amen hallelujah you have to join in that oneness that the, god, the spirit of god has amen praise god so therefore continuing daily in one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house can you see that and then they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of the heart they were eating together that is also communion fellowship everybody say fellowship not only praying but they also had fellowship together oh that's how we can expand god gives a wonderful that's how the early church expanded and verse 47 says praising god and having favor praising god and having favor with all people and the lord added to the church daily those who were being saved amen this is the purpose of god in the end time that that the church will will explode and expand not just for our church i believe it's a it's a it's a season and it's a promise for the the body of christ also yeah because in this end times god wants the the church to explode and to reach out to the millions of people millions of people amen so uh, we have to uh, take that wonderful uh, example and uh, if you see uh, as i was talking about sacrifice and so on and so forth look at here one example i'll show you from the word of god ruth do you know ruth all of us know ruth anybody do not know ruth ruth we all know yes or no yes ruth Uh, in the old testament some of you are looking at me and staring me in the in the ruth pathi pesringa i am talking about the bible ruth okay the ruth the the naomi's daughter in law okay that ruth uh, that ruth was a moabite we all know that and god uh, called her our avangala kuvrumbodu it's a beautiful story that is in the, in the old testament it's a cameo uh, it lies between judges and samuel judges ko judges ko samuel ko nadula and the very small book you will wonder why the lord has put that book you know it's a very small story you all know that uh, her husband dies and the husband dies automatically by their by their custom and a the culture they have to leave everything and they have to go back and marry somebody and live a happy life but ruth did not do that look at your neighbor and say ruth did not do like she rejected her own custom she rejected her own practices of her own uh, culture but she said i'm not going to leave my mother in law i'm not going to leave my mother in law i will stay with her hallelujah look at your neighbor and say i will not leave my mother in law <laughs> woman please tell that huh? i will not leave my mother in law don't leave your mother in law mother in law vandu iniki utturanga ellarum don't leave your mother in law like now me you know love me was very old she was telling in fact go away go get married but ruth did not Amen. you know why because ruth was so uh, he she knew this god she knew somewhere uh, being with that family she got to know about this living god she wanted to stay with her, with her hallelujah that's what god god can do in your life she he can change your perspective and uh, if you read that and no miracles no sign no angels are mentioned in this book basically it is a it's a kind of a love story this person comes and then she is suffering and then goes and glean some uh, food for the house but what happens is the boaz is coming and looking at her and uh, he makes her her wife right wow so nothing very uh, very uh, beautiful to uh, take and learn and say wow praise god la ana one enna theriyum abina this woman because she left all her things and rejected her own customary way and to stick on to the mother in law what god did is he made a legacy for her hallelujah because of uh, because of ruth who married boaz they gave birth to obed obed gave birth to jesse jesse gave birth to david and david becomes the the head for the throne of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah can you see that that means the little ambition or the little thing that you reject and you leave i want to tell you this morning my dear friend prophetically it will create legacy for you god will do legacy through you hallelujah if you are willing to do that 
It's a small thing, maybe. It is a small thing. It looks like a very big thing for you now or small thing for you now. Whatever you're, you're doing it for the Lord, I tell you, God will take it and he will elevate you. Amen. That's why the verse says, through your descendants, they will inhabit the desolate places. Hallelujah. I'll come to that point. I'll come to that point. So number one, God is telling us to stretch. Stretch and reach, isn't it? Stretch and lengthen our cords. How do we do that? Is by be leaving the things that probably, uh, uh, things that, are, that, that we more passionately follow and things like that. If God is calling you to leave that, you have to be willing to stretch that. Amen. Lengthen your cords. Lengthen your cords. Amen. Hallelujah. Lengthen your cords. So Ruth obeyed and rejected her personal ambition, embracing God-given passion to do God's mission. God's mission. In, it changed her entire family tree. A legacy was created for her. Amen. That's why her name is found in the New Testament as well as in the Old Testament. As well as in the Old Testament. I tell you here, look at here, verse 3. For you shall expand to the right and to the left and your descendants. Everybody say descendants. Descendants. And the word descendant uh, in, the, in the Hebrew, it is used as Zera. Everybody say Zera. Not Zera here, okay. Huh? This is Zara, okay. But this one Zera, is it E-R-A? Zera means uh, not an offspring like many translation use. It is called a seed. A seed means uh, you are, your seed will, or your descendants, it's not a natural descendant, but maybe it is the person whom you're leading, maybe the person whom God is reaching to you, through you, touching through you, will become great and they will take those desolate places. Hallelujah. But you can say that you don't know what Amen. Hallelujah. If you don't follow up, you can make an impact on your life. Amen. You may not be even comprehend what God can do through you, but that little time that you're going to sacrifice for praying for the souls. Yeah. That's why this year, I want to tell you this year as a church, we are all going to pray for nation. Amen. And we have formatted differently. The all night prayer will not be very long, but we are making it from 10 to 1 a.m. so that many can participate. We will make it available in the uh, in the physical as well as in the uh, hybrid, I mean as well as in the uh, Zoom, we want all of you to come together and pray for the nation. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In a prayer, no need to silent. I think. Is very clear. No, part of the thing is prayer. No need. That is. How many of you will really want to come and pray? Hallelujah. I I don't see some of your hands. It doesn't mean you won't come. You have to come. You should come and enjoy. Enjoy the presence of God. I tell you, the things that you leave and do for God, yeah, just one hour or two hour commit to pray for the nation. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's number one. So that brings us to the point. That brings us to the point. Uh, number two is don't spare anything. I've already uh, spoken and touched on this, but anyway, uh, that is what I'm going to talk and then we are going to see few things and we are going to pray. So don't spare anything. That which means it, it needs a commitment and it needs a, a covenant relationship with God. We can't do it just like that. We have to have that covenant relation. It's not a convenient relationship. I always, as I always say, it's a covenant relationship. That means it's like a husband and wife getting married. They say in, in happiness and in sadness, in health and in sickness, oh, Yes or no? In joyful times and in sad, sad times, in death and life, until death do us apart. Physically, okay. But they are to stay together. That's a covenant. That's a covenant. But the external factors will not make me, uh, uh, make me, uh, I mean, uh, will not affect my relationship. Yeah? We need to have a relationship with God like that. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, God loves you so much. God loves us so much. We, he is calling us for a covenant relationship. Amen. And he will reveal that. 
you know some of you know that some of you growing in it some of you started in it wow whatever it is you you will get to know that is the journey how much my god loves me it's a journey it's a lifelong journey to understand that yeah then you will you know for sure everything that happens in my life god loves me hallelujah whether i'm in the lowest moment god loves me hallelujah in my highest moments god loves me hallelujah when i've done even the terrible terrible thing still god loves me hallelujah that's why in in the word of god uh, romans chapter 8 paul, paul writes like that now therefore no condemnation for those who are in christ christu ku la irukavanga illa enna illa akine theerpu illa condemnation illa so you don't have to feel guilty and condemned and why i did not do that why i did not do that why i did that but you have to come to god and say my god loves me all the time hallelujah hallelujah know that very well know that very well so rasha ka bahandalama so how do we appropriate the promise by not sparing anything everybody say not sparing so number one he is stretching out that means it may take some things from you it may it may you may have to uh, really go all out for god that's what i said i was telling going all out for christ right and uh, number two is do not spare anything that means in in the tamil uh, version there is a different versions i say the word i saw is tadai seyade right is tadai se but in in greek also it uh, it is the same sorry in hebrew also it is the same that means do not spare or do not prevent it gives in a connotation do not prevent uh, or do not spare rendu me irukku two two things are there that means don't stop doing anything for god or don't prevent yourself or anybody else from doing things for god yeah are you there are you there these are the two so don't spare means don't stop anything from god that means don't keep yourself away from god don't uh, don't stop anything for god for god for doing for god okay don't prevent anything that means don't keep away from god because god knows everything anyway amen sel nathla namba vandu idhe poi aandavar kitta enna kondu porudhu abdinu yosikka venam ellathai aandavar kitta kondu ponga amen yeah don't prevent anything from god yeah hallelujah hallelujah right praise god so don't stop anything from god that means it, it may have to you may uh, you, uh, don't spare anything from god gives uh, giving everything for god give all that you have give all the last bit of things that you have don't stop from doing anything for god if it is time give it amen if it is uh, uh, if you need to spare it you need to spare it if you if it is strength you need to give it give it to god amen if it is your financial gifts you need to give give it to god amen if it is a, if it is a talent or a gift that you have you have to give it to god amen you give it to god and uh, you uh, you are uh, sacrificing your attachment on the things that you love most you are willing to sacrifice it to god do that hallelujah yeah if god is asking amen yeah it can be uh, the long chatting that i told you it can be a ball game that you you need to play or you want to go uh, these are not bad things but if it is coming in the way of the lord willing to spare it amen don't stop anything don't stop anything the rich ruler had this problem the rich young ruler remember him the rich young ruler oda prachana enna abidina he he uh, he wanted to do things for god yes or no the, he came and asked jesus what should i do jesus to inherit the kingdom of god jesus said do all the commandments or so it idella poi pannunga abidina சோ இதெல்லாம் நான் பண்ணிட்டு தான் இருக்கேன் நிறைய பேர் நம்ம எல்லாம் நல்லா பண்ணிட்டே இருக்கோம் அப்படிதானே அப்புறம் ஆனா ஆண்டு ஒரு கரெக்டா கை வச்சுட்டாரு எங்க வச்சுட்டாருன்னா நீ எதோ ரொம்ப நேசிக்கிறப்பா யூ 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 சோ பிலவர்ட் ஆஃப் வாட் த வெல்த் தட் ஹி ஹேட் ஹி செட் செல் ஆல் யூர் பொசிஷன் அண்ட் கிவ் இட் டு த புவர் அது அது கேட்டோடனே த பைபிள் சேஸ் தட் ஹி ஹி வென்ட் ஹோம் சேட்லி த வேர்ட் யூஸ் இஸ் சேட்லி you too much attachment to individualism that's what too much attachment to the things of the world will make you sad to give things for god hallelujah it's a good check for us it is a good check for us see i can have all things but it should not hold me hallelujah we can have all things but those things should not have you yes yes or no 
then you are liberated then you are living in freeness amen hallelujah i can enjoy all things but all those things will not stop me from doing and worshiping the lord hallelujah praising god and doing things for god it will not stop me about this young ruler if he had given everything away i i think he was the most happiest person hallelujah but unfortunately his uh, his life was so attached to that wow amen praise god hallelujah but look at here i give you some uh, examples couple of example then you will understand G- sparing everything for god look at here in elisha's life elisha's life leaving everything that he was uh, when he was called he he left everything not only he left everything he uh, you read in second uh, sorry first kings chapter 19 verse 21 look at that now elisha is going to uh, pass his legacy to his uh, uh, another f- fellow prophet which is elisha apo avargitta kudukumbodu he is coming and throwing the mantle to elisha can we have that so you see here verse 20 so elisha turned back can we have the previous verse verse 20 and he left the oxen and ran after elisha why because elisha has thrown his mantle on one see god's uh, mantle comes that means his call comes to you amen hello a mantle is like a call elijah is throwing his mantle on elisha that means god sometimes as you're sitting and he you're praying god wants you to do something yeah he calls you to do something he throws that mantle to you and he left the oxen and ran after elijah and said please let me kiss my father and my mother and then i will follow you then he said to him what go back again and for what i have done for you go do that kiss whatever whatever you want to uh, you know kiss your parents and say bye kiss parents means saying bye to them okay bidding goodbye to them okay and then elisha turned back from him and took a yoke of oxen and slaughtered them and boiled their flesh can you see that using the oxen equipment and gave it to the gave it to the what people and they ate then he set out to follow elijah and became his servant wow have you ever asked the question why he did all these things before coming am poi kiss panit varan sona he should say bye to the parents and he come you know here beautifully as it was as it was reading and god showed this he took his yoke of oxen and slaughtered them maadu indha than nam attempt pannu maadaye nam olichilla the same thing what jesus said to the said to the rich young ruler because the thing that attracts very much see i'm not telling you what, not to have things yes you can have all things but your priority should be god you you have to be you have to be sold out for god nothing should stop me from doing that that's the way that you will see the expansion coming in your life amen that means he was called out of the tent to go out everywhere hallelujah did god make abraham very super rich man yes did he make him a, a super influential man yes in his time abraham was a so influential person priya priya jadigalukku thagappan amen his name itself was like that father of nation wow imagine that but he was willing to follow god wherever he called him amen praise god can you see that so he slaughtered the thing and even burned the plowing equipment and to cook the meat and gave it to the people wow so that he will he will go freely appa avanukku irundhathu enna na avanukku irundhathu equipment mattum tha adhai avan erichita i heard like this testimony you know like, like long back one once upon a time i heard a testimony of a missionary okay and what he did is uh, avaru enna pandrana avaru padichadala kilichu pora i am not advising that okay is you don't be tempted but what he did is he went and uh, he went and what he uh, burned the certificate uh, burned the certificate and he went to the mission yeah avadi paninga andu thirupina and you know certificate irukke nu solittu poitta na enna seiyudhu so he burned that he went to be a great missionary in guatemala he is one of the powerful ministry uh, in the in the um, in the bible school uh, uh, in in guatemala his name is uh, jackie mice wow 
very powerful minister of God, very big size one, and he reaches to the millions of people in that region, the Latin American region. He he burned, and when I heard his testimony, wow, what a powerful! Then, then I read this. I was connected to that. Wow, this is what exactly Elisha did. Amen. Sometimes you may have to burn your desire. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, "Burn that desire." That is stretching out. Amen. Sparing nothing, sparing nothing for God. Amen. Peter and James and John, you all know, when God Jesus called him to the work, he left the nets. They left the nets in. So don't spare. Look at your neighbor and say, "Don't spare. Don't spare anything from God or anything for God." So this is uh, what I had in my heart. and i am going to share for the next uh, uh, few minutes how uh, we can do it in four steps four steps how we can do it in four steps by stretching out by stretching out uh, uh, stretching out ourselves uh, to the call that god has for the church and for each and every one of us so get ready those slides uh, and we will run through those slides okay and uh, uh, look at here number 1 how do we do that as a church uh, it, it is a process to see an area and uh, where god has placed us to be impacted okay for the glory of jesus christ we have to do it not only one person but every one of us together look at your neighbor and say all of us all of us together we have to put the effort and i was talking to some of the leaders yesterday but how are we going to do raising a spirit filled church sold out for christ that's what we are talking about raising a spirit filled church and uh, sold out for christ that is impacting the nation that's the Uh, vision statement of the church do you know that how many of you don't know that can we have those slides uh, if we if we can see that yeah yes look at that so the spirit filled church that grows in faith and raising up strong disciples and families and uh, community who are sold out for Christ to the cause of the kingdom expansions in the time of harvest or the end time revival and as i was praying about this as i was uh, even sharing yesterday uh, our church vision that that the lord has given to raise up strong disciples everybody say strong disciples strong disciples who will be strong families who will be a strong community and will impact the strong nation to be strong because as i told you yesterday also jeremiah told uh, the prophecy from the word of the lord what did he say you stay in the place and pray for the peace of the nation peace of the city under so they are babylon captivity ka than kootu poranga but angey aandu venna sonna be there pray for the peace of the thing stay there live a godly life and a victorious life that the people may see you as a salt and light amen nammalo mathavangala polave vaalndittirundona no point right we have to live a separated life amen we will be successful we will be victorious we will have all things but we will be godly amen you know that's the difference they also will be successful they also be uh, building things but they are not godly they are going to some other place but you and me what's the difference is we can be successful we can be uh, living a victorious life but we are going to heaven amen amen apo ada patha that's a true joy we have to bring people and usher them into this joy into this eternal life so i i told you yesterday and how do we do that uh, this is a mission statement the luke 418 all of you know to proclaim the good news to proclaim liberty to the captive recovering sight to the blind uh, set liberty who are oppressed and also proclaiming the year of the jubilee amen year of the lord and that is why god has given us this vision right in this year god is going to uh, we believe that god is going to uh, bring us into the place by expanding and uh, stretching out and do not spare yesterday as uh, as i was uh, sharing i'm again uh, sharing with you there is 1.56 according to last uh, year census 1.56 million uh, foreigners that means expats are here in this country which constitute you know uh, all together is a 5 million 5.5 million or 5.4 million people of that 1.6 uh, 56 million is only the non resident or expats like you and me i told i told the lord uh, you know in the beginning god, when god called the, the church should be focusing on expats of course everybody church cannot just narrow but our main focus should be this expats and through that god will touch every every other uh, areas apo andavara the kamikumbodu 1.556 even if it is one person how many people will be there hello 
One person of 1.5 million is how much? Mathematician. 15? 15,000 people. We are already an influential church. Hallelujah. Give glory to the Lord. Say, are we, are we there? You know, 1.5, 6 million. One person if you are going to reach. No, one person. It's a huge, huge people. We're talking about this nation. Uh, this nation needs that. You think God has brought you for a very casual reason to make some money and go and live an ordinary life? I, I tell you not. God has called each and every one of you for a great purpose. Your test today will become a testimony. The mess that you think you are living maybe will become a message for people. Yeah. If you only focus on that. Focus on God. Bring and usher somebody into the kingdom of God. Amen. When you prayfully do that and participate in what the, the Lord is doing in the church and through the church, you will see this coming to pass. I am very sure about that. I am very sure about that. That's why we have in the church a lot of equipping track one way or the other for every kind of believer to come and be a part of that. We, we run through this quickly. Uh, go to the next one. Uh, no. Uh, the uh, Skip the pillars and go to the the other one, the meetings, yeah. The so that's why we have different, different groups of people and uh, can we go to this? Ah. So these are the things that uh, as a church we are going to do in this year, okay. I want to uh, tell you that you prayerfully participate and involve and impact somebody in your neighborhood impact somebody in your workplace and uh, if that is the case I'm telling you reaching this one person of 1.5 million is nothing amen actually we have to have a strategical vision for that we have to ask God that's why we have to pray to reach this community the group of people that is before our eyes because you are all in some way or the other in a place isn't it working don't think I'm that's when you need to know you are somebody powerful. Amen. God is living inside of you. Amen. You can impact. Don't, don't get scared about those, uh, the Malay Muslims or whoever is uh, you know, uh, working with you. I'm telling you, you, they are the most sweet people to uh, talk to. Amen. If you have talked to them, you can share the gospel to them. Because they, are, they need hope. They need, they need the touch of God. Someone need some because we are the carriers of the living God. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm the carrier of the living God. You just be the carrier, be the container. Just with prayer, go and speak to them. You will see amazing thing God is doing. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe all the cell groups will work that. Cell groups will reach out to their own uh, places that God has placed you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. That is why if the, if the church has become so influential, I tell you, this is what happened in the early, early church. You know the church of England? You know the churches in the United States that, that, that became so powerful and influential, the nation became so powerful. You think England and uh, uh, United States became powerful because they, they had all the wealth? No. They were godly fearing people. The people in the nation and the church was flourishing. They were going all out for God. That is why those nations became so powerful. Do you know that? Go and trace back the history. Not because they were, they were working hard. They were doing their own work. They became powerful. Because they were godly. They invested on the lives of the people. How many missionaries came from that world to go out and preach the gospel. When the church. When the church. What is that? Oh, yeah. So when the, when the church becomes so influential, I tell you, the nation becomes influential. We thank God for already big, big churches here in Singapore. And uh, they are doing great jobs. But we have to join with them to see the nation grow. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a big hand? Hallelujah. If you, if you really, uh, if you really uh, sink with that, I tell you, you are such a powerful uh, person who will fulfill the purpose and plan of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Later you play that video. Okay. Today we run through the uh, uh, just the thing. So a church that is greater in uh, impact 
uh, greater in the society, families and individual lives. It, it can become influencing even the nation and steering the nation for the greatness. So as we saw, so we have to ask God strategically and to work with those communities and the group and we can help them find hope in Christ. Hope in Christ. So therefore, number two, uh, we establish real communities. Okay, we establish real community that cares for each one and one another. So number one is raising up a godly uh, Christ, all, uh, I mean sold out for Christ generation. Number two is we establish a real communities that will care for one another. This is talking about your own uh, people group, your own uh, you know, cell groups where you care for one another. Not only just the believers, but also non-believers. Amen? Believers and non-believers alike. We have to be willing to call them, invite them home, give them food, talk to them, and share the goodness of God. Amen? Share the hope of Jesus Christ in their life. Amen? I mean, that way we are establishing a real community. So that's why we have uh, those cell groups. Can we have those uh, uh, different cell groups, uh, cell group uh, ministries? We have all these locations, Yishun, East and the West and Bukit Panjang and also uh, Senkang, Pungol. Okay, and we have some new leaders coming also. Give them all a round of applause. Amen. Uh, give glory to God. They are serving the Lord. And if you are not part of any of the cell group and any of these uh, meetings, I encourage you in this very uh, Vision Sunday to be part of it. Okay, to be part of it and see uh, them uh, grow. Amen. Praise God. So, because we gather in uh, groups of five or ten or fifteen, uh, why? Because as a church, sometimes when we come, not many of you know each other. Abhidana, hello. All of you looking at the picture, not looking at and hearing what I am speaking. I saw you. I saw you. Can we block whenever we need to block and put the right things properly? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. We will, we will, uh, we will uh, know that it is important that when we come to know as a family together, that means each other should know very well of your families. Yeah. That is very important. That's very important. A church like this, I'm not sure whether all of you know each other. What's happening in their life? And can we pray for them? Can we pray for them? Knowing their, their needs. They are in uh, times of needs. They are times needs of encouragement. Can we know them well and support them in times? Because all of us have come out of our own houses, homes, and live in a foreign land. We need to support one another. Look at your neighbor and say, support one another. Care for one another. As a, as, a, as, a, as a church of God, we need to do that. Amen? Praise God. Praise God. So that is what we need to do, number two. For that only, we have these uh, cell groups that we saw. Uh, one more time, uh, uh, give go glory to the Lord by clapping and thanking God for all those uh, uh, leaders who will uh, encourage us. Lastly, lastly, we act on a great commission. Act on great commission. That means we, not only just we are saved, but we are growing in God and the community but also we people who experience this love of God we need to go and show this love of Christ to the others we need to go and show this love of Christ to others that's why we have uh, uh, evangelistic outreach uh, efforts and we need to uh, constantly keep doing that amen in the cell group uh, in the other meetings and also as an outreach we need to constantly keep doing that uh, Every Sunday after the service, there is a group of people going and giving tracts and praying for them. Amen? You can make a commitment to go as a family once a month. Just go with them. Prayerfully go and just pray for those neighborhood parents. If you have not done it, you are not familiar to do that. Don't, don't, don't think like that all the time. You can join with them, they will support you. Okay? It's an easy thing. We will not allow you to jump into the water on your own. Right? We will handhold you. We can bring you and you can speak to the every stranger get a pace with Pastor Anglic Triya de Nagapanadale. That is why church is here to equip you. Amen. But you should be available. Yeah. Now one church is strong. Bye bye, so need to point on Abdina Kukura. Right. Hello. Church is not only for us edifica edification, our our growth. We need to go and share this love to the others. Amen. 
then the, then, then the, the enlargement of the tent comes. Amen. You need to come out of your zone. You need to come out of your tent. When you come out of the tent, then you see the bigger picture. You see the stars. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, I want to see you evangelizing. I want to see you evangelizing. Don't, don't just say, Pastor, I'm in the office. I'm going to tell you in the office. Office lo kudukre dhirgu don. Sunday once we just go and give once a month only, once a month only. So this is done regularly. You make a commitment to do it once a month. And uh, lastly, number four is hand holding others. That means we need to partner with uh, uh, partners and I mean others uh, like churches, like minded, and then we share the same vision and do that. That's why we have 25th meeting. A uh, special meeting where we collaborate with many churches. Also, one coming in March, uh, uh, March or April in a calendar, if you see, uh, we are collaborating with the churches, is to do things together for the Lord. Amen? So don't miss these meetings, all right? Uh, there is going to be a wonderful session. Uh, Pastor Gabriel Thomas, who is our camp speaker, will also be speaking. This time, we are joining with the Eden Fellowship a Church in Jurong, and Pastor Jagan is a wonderful man of God. So we are joining together. So we believe uh, we'll call other people, non-believers, your friends who are, uh, uh, who are not into the Lord. You invite them. They will be blessed also. Amen? Praise God. So can we have those uh, regular meetings that we have uh, in the church? And with that, we'll close. So that together is called R-E-A-C-H, isn't it? Reach. Everybody say reach. So first is what? We are, are doing what? Number one? Raising, yes, very raising, correct. Raising godly people who are sold out for Christ. Number two, establishing the real community. Of then acting on great commission and hand-holding with others. Amen. So we, we believe we'll do that. And uh, uh, as, a, as a church, we'll be able to see that vision, the promise coming true. Amen. Can we have the regular meetings? Yeah, can you put that? Yeah, so all these meetings, we'll share it with you. We all already have an announcement that we do it every... Do we have that calendar one? Better to see that easily. So we have this... Uh, so we are going to begin this uh, Tamil service, okay? From next month, we'll have the Tamil service separately. We'll not have a bilingual service. We'll have it in the evening on the last Sunday, the fourth Sunday of the month. Then we'll have the others, uh, as usual, all-night prayer cell groups, powers, prayer, men and women groups separately. So we encourage all of you to be part of one or the other and be uh, benefited and grow in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we all stand up to our feet? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So I had in my heart this year uh, to uh, tell you uh, where we are going beforehand and uh, encourage you to stretch out, to stretch out, to reach, stretch your curtains. Okay. Strengthen, lengthen your cords. God is able to strengthen the stakes. Amen. Hallelujah. He is the one who can strengthen the stakes. He is the one who can give. You are not doing it on your own. It is God doing it through you. Amen. It is God doing it through you. When we are all, why I need to take some time to share all these things, listen to me carefully. It's not just because we are announcing anything. I want you to uh, be in sync with what the church is doing. Le? Otherwise, you do not know where we are. We are there, part of something bigger that God has. Hallelujah. We are part of something that God is doing in the midst of us. So when we are in sync, when we are in alignment, as I told you, they were all continuing every day together in one accord in the temple. Remember that? Breaking bread and then God adding to the numbers. It is God's work. It's God's work. But God uses you and me to go and reach out to the people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your own places, you will do that. I, I know that you have already done great jobs. Amen. Give yourself a round of applause. So you've been doing fabulously well. But this year, we are going to increase and do beyond. Amen. Hallelujah. Live your life beyond. Amen. Hallelujah. Live your life beyond yourself. That is what the message today I gave you. Living a life that is beyond yourself. That is reaching out more. Amen. Hallelujah. And I tell you, God will bless you abundantly. Amen. Because in this end times, in this last days, God wants to really, uh, really empower the people, really raise up the leaders for the end time revival that is coming so that we are well ready to 
to impact the nation amen hallelujah and to see many many souls come into the kingdom of god hallelujah thank you jesus ellar kanangala uyerthi hallelujah in the naal il seyime hallelujah irangi vandu seyime hallelujah thank you lord in the chorus of party hallelujah risha ka ba 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 hallelujah risha badura bahandala ba shaba ba 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 you said enlarge our visions lord enlarge the tent the place of our tent hallelujah oh thank you holy spirit stretch out hallelujah stretch out lengthen the cords hallelujah shaba ka ba 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 oh rabala shandara shaka badura bahandala thank you jesus Yes Lord we are not going to see hallelujah what is surrounding us lord the economical race hallelujah the cost of living that has gone high hallelujah there is no uh, houses for rentals hallelujah and lord there is so much of difficulties that is surrounding lord but you know hallelujah risha ka badura mahandala ba that you planned already greater things hallelujah for your children hallelujah all these still things will not be a hindrance lord hallelujah all these things of the external factor hallelujah will not be an impact for them hallelujah because you have kept them here and you will provide them hallelujah you will bring them to the place where they need to go father god hallelujah they will see and they will expand father god hallelujah to the left and to the right hallelujah we will be like a barren woman who will sing aloud hallelujah sing in rejoicing hallelujah she ba 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 oh hallelujah thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit enlarging the place of our tents stretching out the curtains of our dwelling do not sparing hallelujah and father god lengthening the cords strengthening the stakes and we will be ready for your move lord 
Holy Spirit move everybody open your mouth and say Holy Spirit move Holy Spirit move move Holy Spirit hallelujah move Holy Spirit hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah in this place among us inside of us and father God every places here will be filled by your glory hallelujah and Lord bring in those people who are hopeless outside father God thank you Holy Spirit and God you're going to do marvelous thing in the midst of us and we pray and we stand in one accord and we pray and we bless you you are going to do uh, do it through us we thank you for that it is not our strength it is not our ability it is not our effort but it is yours Lord hallelujah you're going to do it through us we have will be led by the Spirit of God thank you Holy Spirit because you are the one who is willing and purposing in us to do the good works that you've called us to do amen hallelujah Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Virupatiyum. Virupati Kodukravar Nidha Andavari. Hallelujah. Adhe Niravetri Mudikravar Nidha Arkaradhika. I pray a blessing over everyone here in this place. Every man, every woman, every little children, and every infants, and every new addition to our family. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for all of these people, everyone who is able to come and who are, who are unable to come in this uh, uh, worship session. Lord, we pray that you will bless them all alike in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If every, anyone who is stumbling and wayward, Father, you will bring them back sooner. Hallelujah. And you will bring them into your presence. And God, let them not be condemned, but they will be convicted of your spirit, Lord. We pray that God, everyone here in this place will be blessed. Their coming in and going out will be blessed, Lord. Every man in the house, when they put their hands into, into, into their work, and God, you will bless it abundantly. Increase. Give them an increase, Lord. And Lord, let there be doors of opportunity open in their lives i pray for every woman who is doing multiple roles you will give them more grace lord more grace to do all things well father god especially growing the children in your way and father i pray that in the name of jesus you will give them ideas and wisdom how to bring the children and we pray that god even in the workplaces they will be a salt and a light lord hallelujah you will use them mightily father god lord we pray for every little children they will grow in your perceptions an understanding and a godly character father we pray that they will study well they will excel in the society they will they will uh, be in power with their peers and father god we pray that in fact you will elevate them even beyond and especially all the children in the Sing in the singapore father god hallelujah lord we pray that godly generation will raise lord a godly generation will raise father god hallelujah a godly generation uh, um, a multiracial generation hallelujah raising up hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord we praise you we give you glory we give you honor we give you praise we all of this we pray in the mighty matchless name of jesus christ and the people of god said amen and amen give the lord a big hand hallelujah thank you lord let's pray the benediction together amen hallelujah the lord bless you and keep you and the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace may the father son and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all for now and forever in jesus name amen amen god bless you amen hallelujah can we give uh, the lord glory through our hands amen hallelujah thank you jesus praise the lord have a wonderful day ahead amen and have a wonderful week and prepare yourself for the camp amen and uh, the details please approach those people and if you have not uh, paid the registration please pay it and give it to the people and if you need help you let us know amen so